horses on New Year's Eve, walking down my Brooklyn street. And I saw fireworks in your eyes. I was falling, falling, falling one year ago at this time. Now I'm trying, trying, trying to get back my mind. I'll take my photographs, wrap them in bubble wrap. I'm leaving for the weekend, or maybe for the year. I'll secure all my edges, all the fragile remarks that were. Hey, how's it going? John here. Welcome or welcome back as the case may be. Um, well, unfortunately for me and hopefully a good lesson for you uh, in this episode, we will find out what happens when you don't drain your water system before it starts freezing. Uh, I could have sworn that I did, um, but the evidence is overwhelming that I didn't because when I turned the water on for the first time this year, um, there were leaks springing up all over the place and uh, so far I believe it's the, the count I, I've lost count but it, I think there's about eight leaks in the bus um, so it, and it doubly sucks because I've got to tear the wall out that I just recently did to get to the the pipes to fix the leaks and the whole thing is a big mess so please uh, learn from my mistakes you definitely don't want to do what I did because it's a very been a very costly um, not so much in terms of, of money because the fittings are fair, relatively cheap, but uh, at least so far, but certainly costly in terms of frustration and the amount of time and effort involved. So um, find out what not to do. Stay tuned. Just as I thought I was home free, ready for the season, I just turned my water on and Discovered a really cool uh, or not so cool waterfall back here. Oh man, look at that. There's the problem That elbow there just <laughs> exploded Well, okay. Well Didn't really take too long to pull it all apart. I got to say that but it's kind of discouraging, you know uh, a couple weeks ago. I had to redo the the uh, sewer hookup because I got the truck stuck and broke that and then I had to rip everything out and deal with the mold and now this I've got to take everything out it seems like it's a constant uh, battle I've had trouble with the fresh water hook up here because I should have uh, routed it straight down and I didn't you fill it here and then see how it goes sideways like this and it actually comes around here and then drops down and because I did that it um, you know it's it's almost unusable you spill more way more water on the ground than goes into the tank which is why I made this bypass here I can turn this on and fill up the tank with the, the city water hookup because this one just was so bad but now that I have it all apart I think I might just uh, see if I can get in there with the hole saw and reroute that look at this I found the other piece look at this thing I've never seen anything like this the thing and it, it actually it must have popped off because this was you know like this was where the hookup was this piece was quite a bit further away like about like that far away so I, I've never seen one do this I've seen them crack before but never anything like this and so that's going to teach me next year okay well this is pretty much back together now so this uh, this big hose little route under the bus and this is the city water hookup right here I put this bypass in here that if I turn it on I can fill up my water tank with city water as well the way it works is there's a one-way valve here and that bypass just by bypasses the one-way valve so that the water can backflow into the tank and uh, then this one here is an air vent I got this all back together without too much trouble but uh, I turned the water on and see all this water over here there's another leak another leak back behind here it's uh, really kind of discouraging 
I found the problem. Luckily, not too difficult to fix. And uh, the PEX pressure fitting must have frozen and popped apart. I had to ruin it to get it out of there. But that's where it was leaking, so I fixed that leak, and now there's another big leak back behind there someplace. Damn it, this is really this is really frustrating. There's the problem. It's another one of those PEX fittings. It's the kind that uh, you don't need the crimping tool for. I do have the crimping tool, but um, I use a couple of these, and now I wish I hadn't because two of them have been the cause of this problem. See, it, this is what it looked like when I tore it apart. It just completely came apart there, and so there's water gushing out of that guy. So I'm about to turn it on and see what happens. Uh, the last, so I started off with a leak over here. I turned it on, there was another leak up here. I turned that on and there was another leak over here. And so um, I'm either gonna, about to discover that I finally fixed it or that there's another leak somewhere. So wish me luck. No such luck, another leak. Damn it. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself for not letting this happen to your RV. Here's the next one. This is number five, I believe. Right there. I just keep fixing the leak and then there's another one. I fix that one. There's another one. Eventually, I'll get it. Hey, look, I'm getting good at finding them. Here's another one right here. So that's number six. Six, six broken pipes so far. And there it is, leak number seven. This is starting to get old, really. Ah. Well, on with the grind. And my path of nightmaric destruction continues in here where you see the shower knob has decided to just do this kind of action. Okay, so I've taken the, the chrome piece, taken the, the chrome piece off, it's kind of dirty, and the knob, and then there's this sleeve here, which unscrews. And there's the problem. See, this plastic piece is just broken here. Well, I think I finally have a handle on it, but I had uh, three of these that blew out. They're PEX compression fittings. Three of those that failed. Two copper. This one, it just, I don't know, maybe I didn't solder it correctly. It just popped right off. This was the first one I ran into, this PVC. Look at this thing, it just exploded. Um, the faucet for my shower broke and a shout out to the local businesses all over this thing um, at the box store where I bought the faucet they don't sell the replacement part they don't even have it in their catalog so I went to a local place uh, if you're in southern Oregon you'd be familiar with Grover heating and plumbing but regardless the point is they're a local you know non uh, franchise they're just a local place they've been around forever they didn't have it either, but uh, the guy looked through the book. He couldn't find it in the book, but that wasn't good enough for him. He went in the back, and he looked through their pile of stuff, and he came up with a replacement. And I really got to give a shout-out to those guys. I will. I wish I'd bought this, the faucet from them in the first place, and next time I will. So I think I finally got it back. Oh, the other thing is, um, the other thing that broke was this. Uh, this is the... The spray for the sink to that noise and you can see that's what's causing it right there and and it looks like I blew out the impeller in the water pump as well because it runs but it doesn't pump well when I said uh, the fittings were relatively cheap I wasn't I wasn't counting this $80 water pump that I destroyed so I take that back. Anyway, 
thanks for watching. I hope to catch you guys next time. And I am going to go do my best to make it through the week without destroying anything else. Have a good one. Later.